Hey, this is Ashley from Center Stage. Uh, we know you ain't gonna pay for it, so please click the subscribe button below and watch some of the ads that we have on our videos to help us bring you more tips and tricks for ukulele, bass, and guitar. That's the only way we can keep bringing this stuff to you. So uh, check out this video, and on the next one, please watch the ad, click and subscribe, and then we'll see you next time. Welcome to the Center Stage Guitar Academy Quick Start Beginner Lesson Series. So this series is for those, uh, because we already have a beginner series, it's a very extensive 58 lesson beginner um, series that goes through everything that you would need to know to move on and play any genre, any style that you want. It's all the basics, it's at all the chords, bar chords, your basic bar chords, some scales, really get your fingers moving. It's kind of to set you up to be whatever you want to be as a guitar player, all the foundation that you need. But some people, they just don't really care about that stuff, the theory and all that kind of stuff. Um, they just really want to be able to play a few chords, sing along, maybe, you know, sitting around at a party or a campfire with their friends and just want to play some simple songs and play some easy chords. And there are a lot of songs you can play with three easy chords. So. That's what this is designed to do for those people who they don't care about scales, they don't care about ever playing lead guitar or anything like that. They just want to play some chords, which is fine. That's, that's great. So um, we're going to do something special for you to get you going quickly. You can kind of bypass all those lessons about, um, you know, single notes and scales and stuff that, uh, you know, if you're just not interested in that. So couple basics we do have to go over before we get to actually playing a chord. You do need to know the basic parts of the guitar. I'm going to go over this quick because you might already know. You got the body. And this is, by the way, this, this works for electric and acoustic. So I'm on acoustic, but it's pretty much the same for electric. It just sounds different. There's a little more, there's some more gadgets on an electric, but, but for the most part, same. Body, bridge. This is the bridge where the strings attach. Neck head or headstock, um, tuning pegs, these metal things on the neck are the frets and obviously we have our strings. You need to know those just so, you know, when I'm teaching, I'm, I, I might mention this part, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so um, uh, the, you need to know the parts. Then we need to know how to tune. So I'm going to show you how to do that next and then when we get back from tuning, I'm going to show you how to hold the guitar and then play a G chord. As you can see here, I have a tuner with a cable going into it. That's because my acoustic guitar has a pickup in it. Yours may not. If your guitar does not have a pickup in it, make sure you get a tuner with a microphone on it. Um, all the principles still apply, how to read the meters, and which notes you're tuning. Um, we're going to tune, tune the first string on the guitar, which is this one right here. And that string should be tuned to E. So you want to make sure when you hit your tuner, it's showing an E. And then the idea is you want the meter to be right in the middle. This one, when it's in tune, is going to show a green light. Yours might just have a meter on it that you want right in the middle on zero. So we pick that, we tune our tuning peg for that string. Until it hits right in the middle like that. It might jump around a little bit, but as long as it's uh, on the green, you're good. So the red light was back here. That means your string's flat, so you want to tighten it. Okay, so we'll go to our next string, which is the B string. You can see that I'm pretty much in tune. Might be a little sharp. Just adjust that. tune. The next string, it's the third string, that should be tuned to a G. See there we're in tune. The next string is the fourth string, that should be tuned to D. Pretty close there. The fifth string should be tuned to A. tune there. And the sixth string should be tuned to E. And 
That's how you use uh, your electric tuner. Now you want to make sure again that when you pick the string that it's showing the correct note. Because if it's showing C, you'll be cranking it to C and it's not going to be right. Okay, if you don't have an electronic tuner and you're trying to tune by ear, this is the way you want to do it. First, you're going to need a point of reference. So you either need, if you have a piano at home, a keyboard, um, you could probably find something online that will give you a reference note. Uh, a pitch pipe would also work. Um, you want to, the easiest thing to do is tune to what's called concert A. So you're going to tune your fifth string, your A string, to whatever uh, reference you have, piano, keyboard, pitch pipe. So we're going to assume that that is in uh, concert A, which is also referred to as uh, 440. Um, so once that's in tune, then we're going to turn tune our sixth E string to that string. So we, what we have to do is we have to find A on the E string, and that would be right here at the fifth fret. So you're going to push that string down at the fifth fret. You're going to hit that and your fifth string, A, that's already in tune together. And make sure that those sounds match up. Those are in tune. Then, you're going to move down and you're going to play a D on your fifth string. And then you're going to play the fourth string, which is D. And make sure those match up. Then we're going to move down. Again, the fifth fret. On the D string, we're going to find a G. This is G on the, on the D string. We're going to match that up to our open G string, which is the third string. Make sure those sound alike. Now I'm going to make this go out of tune so you know what to listen for. You can hear that that does not sound very good. Now what you want to be listening for are what are called beats. Anytime you have two sound waves that are, are uh, close but not quite the same, they're going to beat against each other and you're going to hear this a wavering. So what you listen for, you can hear that wave going like this. You're going you're gonna to tune it so that that wave gets farther and farther apart until you don't hear it anymore. Now, did you hear it smooth out? Now we're back to being tuned to G. So that's what you want to listen for is those beating waves against each other. It's kind of complicated. It'll take a while for your ear to adjust to that. So now we have our 6th string E in tune, our 5th string A in tune, our 4th string D in tune, and our 3rd string G in tune. Now we have to find B on the G string, which is right here on the 4th fret. Play that along with the 2nd uh, string, which is supposed to be B, no sound alike. Then we're going to find E on our now tuned B string, which is back to the 5th fret right here play that and our first string together. Make sure those sound alike. That's how you tune by ear. You're going to want to double check that a couple times. Sometimes if your guitar is really out of tune, by the time you get to your high E string or your first string, the rest might be out of tune again and it's going to take a couple times. Um, and that's how you tune by ear. Okay, now that you know how to tune the guitar, let's talk about how to hold it. The best way, most comfortable way, if you're, you know, if you're right-handed, you hold it over your right leg. There's all, usually most guitars have a curve right here and you just kind of hold that over your thigh. You don't want the neck aimed down. You want it either level or a little elevated. Um, parallel with the ground or a little elevated. And your right arm or your strum hand, if you're left-handed, same thing. You just kind of rest your forearm right here right there on the curve, kind of at the top of the guitar there, and just kind of let your hand hang down. And um, we're going to be playing with a pick. If you don't want to play with a pick, anything I'm doing, then you would strum with your thumb or your first finger. But with a pick, 
you hold it between your thumb and your first finger like that, whatever's comfortable. And you just, it's kind of a wrist, twisting of the wrist motion to strum. So if you can just kind of see what I'm doing there, it's, and I'm going down and up. And you don't want to dig in too far. You don't have to get really in there. You're going to get caught up. It could just be kind of light, mellow, down, up, down, up, down, up. Right now I just have my hands over the strings, not pushing down, just muting them so we don't have to listen to that the whole lesson. We just, just like that. Just kind of get that, feel that out a little bit, right? That's going to be our basic strum, okay? <clears throat> so now let's let's try to play a chord, okay? Um, we're going to start with a really basic chord. It's called a G major chord. It's used in a lot of songs. Um, so you're going to take your first finger. Well, first of all, you're going to put your thumb on the back of the neck like this. Now this is important. You don't want it bent like that. You don't. You don't. You're not grabbing the guitar like that. It, it's it's thumbs bent back on the back of the neck, pressing here, and you're wrapping your hand around like this. Now I can, there's space here. I'm not, I'm not up against the neck like that. I'm, I'm out here. Now this is gonna be hard at first. The guitar's not easy. Even, you know, we're, we're trying to start quickly to get you playing some simple song as fast as possible, it's still, it still, it takes a little bit of practice because your fingers just aren't used to doing this. It's, it's muscle memory, it's building up dexterity in your fingers and hands. So don't get frustrated, just, it just takes a little time and a little practice. Um, but let's try doing that. You come wrapping around, first finger, your first index finger on the second fret of this string right here. That's the A string. It's the, the second one down from the top. So when you actually, when you count guitar strings, it's one, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the, the one closest to you on top here is six, and this is one down here. So the fifth string right here, second fret. When you fret a note, you wanna be right behind the fret. You don't want to be back here or really in the middle. You want to be right behind it, but you don't want to be on top of it. If you're on top of it, you get that sound. If you're right behind it, you get a nice clear sound. Okay? So first finger there, second finger on the third fret of the low E string. That's the sixth string. So just see if you can get both those notes to sound out. Picking them with your pick or with your thumb. Okay, now, this is gonna seem hard at first. Third finger, all the way down here on the third fret of the high E string. Now, I had to kind of move, if you see, I kind of swung my arm out a little bit to be able to get that in there. If you have to do that, that's fine. Just try not to do that. Try not to cram it all in like that. Now, you're pushing down. You gotta push down a little hard. It's gonna be a little tender on your fingertips. It's gonna hurt a little bit. Now I want you to try just strumming all six strings down. That's what it should sound like. Now, if you're not getting that sound, if you're getting that means that your fingers are blocking some of the other strings because we still need all these other strings to ring out. And when you're not pressing down on a fret but playing a string, that's, that's, you're playing the string open. It's an open string. That's why these are called, referred to often as open chords because it uses some strings that we're not pressing on. So if you're, if you're not getting that, if you're getting some of that, you know, you might not be arching your fingers enough. You gotta really arch them. They can't be laying across, they gotta be like that. So you should really be playing on the tips of your fingers. The tips, not underneath your nail, but the, you know, right there. Not on the pads. You wanna be on the tips, not the pads, okay? So you're arching around, coming down. Not a 90 degree angle, but kind of perpendicular. 
and you should get a nice clear tone. Or, if you're getting some of that, you're not pushing down hard enough. Push down a little harder. Once you make a nice clear chord, I just want you to practice strumming up and down. Keep in mind when you're strumming, you don't have to play every note of the chord every time you strum. It actually doesn't sound as musical. So on my downstrokes, I'm hitting more of these lower notes here. And on my upstrokes, I'm hitting more of the higher notes. It's not an exact science. You don't have to be like super particular on I'm gonna hit these certain three strings on my way down and these certain, certain three strings on my way up. It, it doesn't have to be that mathematical is just it's just a feel thing it just sounds more musical if you're not going it's just okay so practice those things I know we're not to a song just yet but we got to learn a couple of chords um, but try to get that down and in the next lesson we're gonna learn another chord and kind of work on switching from one to the net to the other so that's the next lesson